Welcome to 3713 Knights Mill in Knights Mill Subdivision, Valdosta, Georgia. I'm showing you your whole neighborhood here. You're on the corner, so I wanted to be sure and show you that. You've got these great trees in the front and a three-car side entry garage and pretty much a half acre lot here. This was a pre-sold uh, house that has some special items in it that Blake Taylor put in for the owners who are now the sellers and there's no time like the present and so this is it. This is the time to put this house on the market. You see some gutters there. That's really nice. I love this porch here. You have some nice covering if you wanted to put a rocking chair there. Love that stained beadboard ceiling, the transom window, and look at this beautiful storm window. And we are about to see what Christmas looks like. So imagine yourself next Christmas here. Beautiful engineered hardwood floors, incredibly well maintained. This cased opening to the large dining area and the kitchen. Look at that. I'll turn around so you can see the great room from here, that extra deep tray ceiling, and you do have a foyer, an entrance there. All right, and so now let's check out the kitchen in more detail. You have an island here. It's just such beautiful flow, beauty, and efficiency put together. There you have some great storage. I love the bling of that chandelier over the island. You have in the corner here an appliance garage, glass door cabinetry, and look up above, you can put your favorite collection there. Those are custom cabinets. Here behind this door is a closet pantry. You have a beautifully coordinated travertine tile backsplash that goes with your granite countertops and your undermounted sinks. And I love that the dining area is right here. And this is how it connects to the great room. Okay, so now let's go through the great room and check out the master suite. Here's a good look at the foyer. And through this archway here is the master suite. And look, the hardwood floor continues. This is a very large, nice sized master bedroom with the tray ceiling and you'll see the rope lighting there for a nice, quiet, peaceful mood. This floor plan has three walk-in closets and behind that door there is the first one. And as we enter the bathroom, this is bathroom in the round. So I'll stand in the middle and we can see each component. Here is your double sink granite vanity with a large, beautiful framed mirror. Behind this door is your private water closet. Behind this corner door is clothes closet number two. On your rear wall, you have this wonderful privacy window. Notice the pediment and the crown molding that is everywhere. 
Even when all of these beautiful Christmas decorations are gone, this house is beautifully trimmed out. Here is your jetted tub, and behind this door is clothes closet number three. And last, but certainly not least, is this glass door to the tiled shower. You can see there are two built-in corner shelves and your oil rubbed bronze fixtures and very beautifully created and maintained shower. All right, so here again in the round, there's your vanity, water closet, clothes closet, jetted tub, and I love that backsplash. Again, so beautifully designed and coordinated with this floor, with the porcelain tile floor. Another clothes closet, that's clothes closet number three, and your tile and glass door shower. Back into the master bedroom. And before we leave this hallway, we'll take a quick look at the laundry, which is right here. It has some built-in cabinetry and hang-ups there and a slate floor, another natural material below. And here is your garage door. So you can see here you have two cased openings to the third car, full-size third car garage. with the irrigation system right there. And you can see this pull down to the attic here in South Georgia. We don't have basements. We have attics to store stuff in. Again, what I love about this floor plan is that shelving unit right there. That's just like part of the house itself. So every space where you can get some shelves, you have some. All right, so now we're back in the great room and through this archway you have three nice sized bedrooms and a full bath. So we'll turn to the right and here is the front bedroom. Isn't this nicely sized? Very spacious. And there's your closet. Here in the hall is a linen closet. Here's your guest bath. Isn't that just beautiful? Oval framed mirrors, granite vanity, undermounted oval sinks. Look at the decorator tiles there. This is just a beautiful, beautiful guest bath. Crown molding. All right, we've got two more bedrooms to take a look at. Here's the middle one. This one has two closets. And then one more bedroom here. I love that little nook. See how that indents there? And there's your closet. All right, so now we get to see the screened porch and the huge backyard. We go through this cased opening again into the kitchen. One more look there. Isn't that beautiful? Dining area and here is your screen porch. Oops. There we go. I love that stained beadboard. Yes, and we do have some doggies that say, I'll let you out if you let me in. Come on, come on, in you go. In you go, come on, come on, in the house, in the house. There they go. Stay, 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 stay. <laughs> All right.
right, so here we are in this beautiful contained screened porch with tile floor and working doggy door. Look at this beautiful patio here and a pergola. Wow. Look at all of that space over there. Seriously, you want room for a pool? You'd never miss it, would you? Thirty-seven thirteen, night smell. <laughs>